Well, things are slowly starting to come together. I basically have the majority of the parts I need. This wonderfully crushed box is where my <laughs> my motherboard and CPU arrived. But that's not the official case at the bottom there. But um, I have a little bit of a concern that I'm hoping won't be a problem with the case I bought. Which is, this is a little bit wider <laughs> than uh, my rack. And what I might have to do... I'm not 100% certain how this is uh, holding together structurally. I think... I don't think it has much structure to be honest, but if the case I bought is as wide as this one for the rack here and doesn't fit, I might have to take this apart and then put some washers um, on each end just to kind of widen up these side panels a little bit. But that's not the plan for today, unfortunately, since I don't have a case yet. I'm hoping to get it next week, but I don't know. I have a bad feeling that the uh, company I bought my case from is going to be a little slow, even though I paid for a different faceplate that I didn't want just so I could get it faster. <laughs> but uh, yeah, today I'm going to work on building out the rack with the stuff that's going to go in it. Well, this is the pile of goodies I'm working with today. I'm being kind of lazy and I kind of grabbed this battery back up out of the pile because it already has batteries in it that work. <laughs> um, but I'm already not liking how noisy this is. Plus, I don't know what it's doing. Um, I'm going to give it some time to see if it'll charge the batteries or not. I could use the battery backup I fixed for my office, but it's not rack mount and I don't want to put it on a rack shelf. I want it to look nice. Um, but I do have some APC stuff, which is my preferred brand for the most part. But um, I don't know if they have good batteries in them either. So we'll see what goes on there. Then I got another one of these nice little uh, light up plug strips like I have for my uh, home setup. So that'll be nice. Um, this is just going to be a blanking plate that's going to go over the amplifier. It would have been kind of nice to put a rack shelf over the amplifier, but, um, blop. This, uh, wouldn't make for very good ventilation. I was really hoping I had a 2U rack drawer sitting around, but I don't, unfortunately. So I'm going to use this rack shelf. And the plan for this is I want to be able to put stuff on this to charge. So like my GoPro or my, um, uh, cell phone and whatnot. And then I think this rack shelf is going to go under the uh, Furman. So, yep. Then I need to track down cables still. And might be some other goodies that go on the rack. I don't know quite for sure yet. It'd be nice to clean the desk off. I do have a problem with the rack, though, that I'm thinking about now. Alright, so I'm back at the rack. And... I was thinking about putting spacers on the side panels, but I haven't quite figured that out yet. The, I guess I don't really know which side's front or back. It probably doesn't really matter, but this side, instead of the bolts going through, they're going into the side of the uh, wood paneling. So I got to figure out what, um, what happens when I take one of these screws out. Is there a nice threaded insert, or are these really weird wood screws that are shallow depth? I'm afraid that when I take these side panels off, they're not going to go back on the same. But I realized if I don't put on the washers now, and I fill the rack up and find out that the case I paid money for isn't going to fit, <laughs> that's going to be a bit upsetting. So I'm going to yeah see if I have washers, and then I'm going to put those on as well but we'll see how things go. Well, I got the first panel off. Oh, unfortunately, they're threaded in, and since this is press board, I don't know how well those are gonna go back in. I think the side with the bolts coming through is probably the side that's supposed to be the front, just because that's gonna be a little bit stronger. Um, this isn't really any wobblier than it was before, though, so... I don't really know what to think about this. I mean, this is clearly just a decorative 
trim piece, but um, <laughs> yeah, a lot of that um, side to side shake is gonna be reduced once I get stuff in here and mounted. Um, I don't think there's too much of a front to back issue. It feels like it feels like this post has a weld down this line on the inside with this little cross brace. Not so much on the bottom though. I, I don't know where they welded it on the bottom. Hmm. But I'm going to put my washers on each side. I'm thinking two. Um, it'll be a little probably thick, but I figure better safe than sorry. I don't want to have to do this twice. It is going to leave, whoops, an unsightly gap between the edge of this and this because uh, he's sticking out that far. But I want to be able to use it. Also, I think while I have this apart, I'm going to clean these sides and the insides of the panel. I'm obviously going to clean the bottom of that out. Cats have been having too much fun in there. But yeah, that's the uh, progress so far. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Well, someone seems to have taken my chair and is supervising now. I think he thinks he's the star of the show. But I don't know. <laughs> uh, it was a bit of a pain, but I got the washers in and cleaned this up the best I could. As you can see, there's a bit of an unsightly gap now. But this uh, rack case that didn't fit previously now fits. This isn't what I'm going to be using though because I don't really want a case sticking out four inches beyond the uh, back of my rack. I ended up not putting washers in the back screws for multiple reasons. I didn't figure they would grip. Um, and I couldn't figure out an easy way to get the washers to stay. So I think that was a smart move though. Basically, uh, just this uh, front portion here, those four, and then this one has the two washers and then no washers on that, plus the screws. The screws were a coarse thread wood screw, which is screwing into press boards, so taking them out and putting them back in doesn't uh, work too well. <laughs> I ended up ripping up some scraps of paper towel and shoving them in the holes to kind of help make things fit a little bit better. But I mean, these are just mostly to uh, be decorative because like I said, wobble wobble. <laughs> Although front, front to back strength probably has helped with these side panels. But this isn't gonna stay in here. I just wanted to see what it looked like. And I am going to have to figure out how everything's gonna go in here. I should have enough rack space because plug strip, rack shelf, space, and then amplifier two more would make battery backup i think i'll have one u of space left after everything's all said and done but the next step hi <laughs> the next step is going to be to clean up my goodies and uh get those in place and then figure out where the uh the desktop i'm building is going to go it's probably going to go up um, 3U from the bottom because I'm going to have the battery back up on the bottom that'll be 2U I'll have an open air gap probably then desktop, amp, space, shelf plug strip but yeah we'll see how it goes well that's as far as I can go today with this pretty excited with how it looks so far I uh, have a couple cables run under here for charging got micro USB and USB-C I'm not sure if I like how my camera battery charger is sitting because it's kind of loose, but we'll see how that goes. That might get relegated back to my tool cart. I've opted to put the amp above my PC rather than below it because it puts out, or it should put out a decent amount of heat. So with having all this space above it, it should stay happy. The PC is going to go right below it and then if there's space, I have this 1U blank plate with uh, little knockout panels, basically. Um, depending on if my fancy new case is going to rub up against this amp or not will determine how I position it. Um, higher is better, in my opinion, but we'll see. 
I may just put it down one hole so it'll look a little weird it won't be in like the right spot but I don't want to have the case I paid a bunch of money for get all scratched up <laughs> um, and then I opted to not rack mount the battery backup um, or well I opted to not screw it in that is so it's just sitting loose on the bottom this is um, of unknown condition so I don't know how good the batteries on it are yet. I did have it plugging it. I did have it plugged in for a bit and it was charging. So it's up to three bars now when I before I unplugged it and put it in there. I did inspect the batteries and they seem to be in okay condition. They're not like popped up or leaking. So we'll see what happens. This one's a little bit weird because it's a three battery system instead of four for a thousand VA. Um, it's running on 36 volts, I guess, but it's kind of whatever. I got to read the documentation and make sure that the USB cable it uses isn't something stupid and proprietary. And then I'll plug into a test computer just to see what ugh, communication and stuff it does. Hard to move one hand, but back's looking clean for now. There's no cables, so, <laughs> um, yeah. Battery backup's overkill. Basically, the only thing that's going to be plugged into that is my computer and my monitors. Honestly, a lot of this setup's overkill. I'm not sure what else to be plugged into the Furman. Um, other than the amp, the two phone chargers, and then the battery backup. Because the printer is a high drop, power draw item, so the printer is not going to get plugged into this setup. It'll be plugged into the wall. Uh, I'm trying to think the only other thing on my desk that uh, uses power would be the wireless charger I have, which depending on how this works out with my desk, this won't fit under my current desk, but I'm thinking about getting a uh, height adjustable sit-stand desk. I'm not sure yet. If I get a sit-stand desk, then this will definitely fit. But with my current desk, I don't think it'll fit with the way it's configured. So it'll probably go behind my desk. But, uh, yeah. I kind of opted to just put the power cord for the uh, amplifier through one of the cooling fans. Hopefully it won't rub through the insulation. But the alternative was I plug it in one of the outlets right above the plug. And then coil the cord and kind of have it go between the speaker wires. I figured that probably wasn't ideal, so... Uh, yeah, that's the route I went. But, uh, yeah, it's a waiting game now. I will have to make sure. I wasn't planning on doing it, but I'm going to pre-build that setup just to make sure it didn't get damaged in shipping. I may just open the box and do a visual inspection, but we'll see what happens. But I think that'll conclude this video, and then, uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, oh, within a week, <laughs> I'll get my case. I'm kind of anxious to get this done. I'm excited to have a new PC. But hopefully that was interesting, and thanks for watching.